All right, Sensei William Christopher Ford at the Kaizen Dojo. We had the great pleasure of having Sensei Leo Howard visit our dojo today. We uh, were just so, the kids were so excited to have you, and uh, they, they just, you know, all week they've been talking about it, and we really uh, are so grateful that you came out to visit us today. I appreciate that. It's a pleasure to meet everyone. You know, it's their family. This is, this is my dojo, you know. I grew up in a place like this. Now, you started in, what what style of martial arts did you actually start in? I started in uh, Shorin Ryu, actually. Uh, I started at a, a normal, like, taekwondo place, like, down the street at a boys and girls club and started there for like two months when I was four and my parents found a Shorin Ryu dojo which was actually a Mashita dojo and uh, started training there and became absolutely addicted at four years old and that's been my absolute base and I credit like I've done all the extreme martial arts which is like the flips and stuff the less practical stuff but I credit like my structure and my base always to Shorin Ryu and that's what I've, I grew up doing. Who uh who are your greatest influences as far as martial arts? Oh man, when I was little, I used to watch Bruce Lee all the time. And uh, absolutely my inspiration because he was one of the first real martial artists to be on screen. And I looked at that and I was like, that's what I want to do. I want to be, I want to do action on screen. And it kind of evolved and I've had the pleasure of being able to do something like that in the show called Kicking It, where it's a Disney XD show where we combine the comedy of a sitcom and uh, cool martial arts fight scenes. So it's a lot of fun. How'd you know, uh, when did you know that you wanted to be an actor? I was seven years old when I decided that I wanted to become an actor. And I basically told my mom, I was like, Ma, I want to be an actor. And she was like, okay. <laughs> uh, so, but it originally started with the martial arts. And like I said, I watched Bruce Lee and he totally inspired me to be on screen. And then I really kind of dove into the whole acting world and started researching stuff like that. And I kind of fell in love with both, you know? I read that you were at a tournament performing and somebody actually saw you and kind of scouted you, is that correct? Yes sir, yeah, uh, actually someone, it was a friend of a uh, photographer who was at the tournament and they recommended me, they were like, hey this kid's cute, you could do some print jobs and stuff. So I got headshots, which you get, you get your picture taken and we took him to an agent and you know I started going out on print jobs and stuff and just slowly but surely over like eight years started building up to commercials and TV shows and I had a few movies like G.I. Joe and uh, Conan the Barbarian stuff like that and that was a lot of fun so and you you were g oh, given the uh, the big Conan sword at the end of that movie is that yes. correct <laughs> yes sir yeah that was a pleasure I um I'm a sword freak I collect weapons and I always have since I was little so and they knew that on the uh, on the movie so they gave me the big huge uh, Conan sword uh, as a rap gift. what's your philosophy of martial arts well, I think that martial arts can be misunderstood as a lot of things. I think parents think of martial arts as violence and beating people up when that's absolutely the farthest thing from the truth. You know, uh, I credit who I am to martial arts, uh, focus, you know, uh, dedication, respect, all that stuff I learned from martial arts and I don't think that I would have any of that if I hadn't uh, started in martial arts at a young age. And it's absolutely who I am and I think it'll always be a part of my life. What kind of roles are you interested in playing in the future? After kicking it. After kicking it, right. Uh, you know, I love the action roles. So any kind of like action movies or, uh, you know, like a Die Hard kind of thing where I could be a, an action action star. Any no. advice for any budding young martial artists or actors out there? Absolutely. Uh, I can't say enough focus and dedication because all it takes is just practice makes perfect. Uh, it's not going to come overnight. Uh, just stick with it and uh, be focused, you know. Thank you so very much, Leo, for being here today. I appreciate that. Sensei Leo Howard at the Kaizen Dojo in Torrance, California. I'm William Christopher Ford, kaizendojo.com.